For the past two years, Raycast has been essential to my daily workflow. It's basically my command center for everything, from launching apps and managing windows to quick calculations and having AI at your fingertips, no matter what you're working on. But even with all these amazing tools, there is still one major productivity killer that affects all of us. Did you know that we lose about 40% of our productive time due to context switching? That's almost half of our workday gone just from jumping between tasks and getting distracted. And this week, Raycast just dropped an amazing new feature called Focus that's designed to tackle exactly this problem. If you're like me, you probably had all those moments where you're deep in code or writing something and suddenly you find yourself doom scrolling on socials. Well, that's exactly what this new feature is going to help us prevent. And I'm going to show you exactly how it works. All right, so let's set up our first focus session. So I can type focus in Raycast. And as you can see, I have start focus session here, which I also have bound to hyper F. So if I press my caps lock key, which is my hyper key and F, I get directly into start focus mode window. And as you can see, it's pre-filled already with stuff I had on my last focus session. And let's use that because that's actually what I'm doing right now, writing a YouTube script. So it suits pretty good. So the first thing you have is your goal. So let's leave that at create YouTube script and 30 minutes seems like a perfect time for a focus script writing session. And then let's X out these so we can add them again. Here we have the option of typing what to block during our focus session. We have some pre-filled categories. So messaging seems like a good one. It will block two apps, messages and Slack, but also 19 websites. We all know how annoying those notifications can be. Let's block messaging. And then we can also block social media, for example. And then I know when writing a YouTube script, like YouTube is always something that distracts me. Let's block the website youtube.com as well. And maybe also the app DaVinci Resolve because I often get tempted to go in and edit videos when I write scripts. So that's pretty much it. From here, we can start our focus session by just pressing command and enter. And now you can see we have that little session window at the bottom with a countdown, counting down the time till we're done with this session. Now that we're in focus mode, let me show you what happens when we try to break our own rules. So let's first open the messages app and you can see that we're blocked and we have also a little notification which is paused when we hover over it and it's letting us snooze this so we can have messages open for three minutes if we want to. And the timing, as you saw, it will snooze it for three minutes right here. And that timing could be set in the extension settings. And let's try the same thing with a website, for example. So as you know, we blocked YouTube. So let's open YouTube. And Raycast tells us that YouTube is blocked. And here as well, I can snooze YouTube for three minutes if I quickly need to check on something. And as I said, the snooze option, which let you snooze any app or website for three minutes, it's pretty cool. But remember, that's kind of still defeating the purpose. But as I said, you can adjust the timing. So if we put focus here, I can press command K to bring up the context menu and configure my extension. And here you can see I can change the duration and even turn off the snooze if I don't want to be able to snooze at all. So the interface itself is beautifully minimal. As you can see in this little window, it's very clean and you can see pretty much your remaining time and the focus that you currently have. So no clutter and no distractions. If you hover over it, you will have the ability to either pause your session if you need a quick break or you can complete your session early if you finish ahead of time. And also you see this little grabber using that. You can move this window to pretty much anywhere on your screen where you might see it fit. If you click those three dots, you will have a little context menu where you have some powerful options. You can edit your session, which brings you back to the original start session window. Maybe you want to add more time or you figured you need to block another app that popped up along the way. And you can just hit update your session. Another little gem is that move to menu bar button which basically puts the window in your menu bar instead, where it's even less noticeable, of course. And you can detach it from the menu bar again. If you're like me and prefer the default position, 
just hit reset panel position, which honestly, I found it to be the perfect spot. It's visible enough to keep you accountable, but not prominent that it becomes like a distraction itself. As you saw, focus is simple yet powerful, and it's freely available right now with the Raycast. If you're serious about productivity, this is a feature that you don't want to miss. Drop a comment below with what apps and sites you will be blocking first with the focus feature. If you found this helpful, subscribe for more future productivity tips. I'll be sharing more advanced Raycast tutorials and workflows soon. And if you're considering going pro with Raycast, which gives you amazing features like Raycast AI, for example, Use my affiliate links in the description. You'll get 10% off your subscription and it helps me create more Raycast content. So until next time, see you.